Hey, hey, party people! Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays. So, <laughs> I was just browsing the free games on Steam, and I came across this one. It's called Space Bear. And apparently it's a typing game that requires a keyboard, so great. I feel like this is just going to be like a quick one-shot game. It just looks really funny, and I don't know. Let's just get into it. So, type in your choice. Sure. Oops. Somewhere in the distant galaxy, war rages across the stars. Space Bear! <laughs> A typing adventure game. All of those are in quotations, so I don't know what that means. So, our story begins as Space Bear is in going into danger in the starlight. Okay, cool. Space Bear, wake up! We don't have much time! Press any key when you have finished reading. Okay. You bumped your head back there and have a short-term have short-term amnesia. I'll help you get up to speed. I am Spacesuit TFY738. I am also your narrator and tutor. You can call me Taffy. Sure. You are wearing me right now, understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. I'm equipped with bear translation technology so I can read your body language and tell what you are trying to say. Great. Bears are impatient and not good at typing. Once you have typed the first letter of your chosen response, you may mash the keyboard with your paws to make up for the rest of the letters. Okay, so you only need to type... It says it's a typing game, but you only need to type one letter. Uh, where am I? Take yes. <laughs> Why does the space suit not cover my arms then? Because the in-game network looked really weird with the space suit on the arms. All right. I mean, you need your paws free to use things, Space Bear. Sounds legit. We should probably do something about our precarious situation. Game saved. Space Bear, your spaceship is out of control. Do you are careening into that black hole? Do something. Uh, eject. We can't, Space Bear, you left the portable ejection button at home because, quote, it smelt funny. Also, you cannot survive drifting through space for a long time. But I'm a Space Bear! That is just a name, Space Bear. Similarly, the once popular band Queen is not actually... You know what? I've had just about enough of your sass, and it's been about five minutes. The black hole is closer. Alright, uh, push the buttons. Push the buttons to activate the space radio. Oh god, make it stop! Push another button. You activate the wind radio. <laughs> oh man. I, why do I not know this by now? Push another button. You activate the button by first. No, oh, oh, actually, no, that's not bad. <laughs> we now have a clean button. Woohoo! Uh, 
Part 2. Oh, well, good. There was no way out of that anyway. Cut straight to the heart. Game saved. Earlier that week. Wow, there's a lot going on. Dots. Breaking exposition! Today marks the one-month anniversary when the Void Moles destroyed New Amsterdam. <sighs> Crackle. Led by General Varg, a squadron of mole ships unleashed hundreds of bombs onto the peaceful settlement, reducing it to rubble. As the election draws near, the Prebercident <laughs> vows to retaliate with force if re-elected. The good bear citizens of Planet Terra feel that fear that the mole void moles may attack any day. Grope around for radio alarm snooze button. Wake up, space bear. This is a big day. Am I still in the suit? Hey, man. I was listening to Exposition Radio. Get up, space bear. I am Taffy. Yes. Sai, I know I met you in the tutorial. Ha, <laughs> tutorial. You are sounding crazy. You know you are already wearing me, right? How did this happen? Government officials came last night and dressed you. We tried to wake you, but you were rather hard to rouse. Open your eyes, space bear. We are going to be late. Open eyes. You now have a massive hangover. What did I do last night? You have a meeting with the president. Oh, great. How original. Let's begin this cliche game with a cliffhanger, then show the events leading up to it. This isn't a game, Space Bear. The president needs the prayer. President needs you. That is the single dumbest sentence I have ever heard. Uh, by the way, this game is free, so if you're enjoying it, go check it out because I am. I can't stop laughing. You better get up, Space Bear. Maybe you should try and fix your hangover first. Uh, I'll eat something. A cornetto. Oh, it's ice cream. Use your left arm to eat your ice cream. You no longer have a cornetto. You no longer have a massive hangover. Yay! Now I have a medium hangover. Alright. Well, time to drink some water then. A mild hangover. Uh, I guess I should try to sleep a little bit more. You don't want to be late. All right. Let's see. Oh no! I missed the meeting. Only one way to fix this. Sleep again? No, space bear. No. Up for a day. See, it's daytime again, so we can go see the president and pretend we had the day wrong. Yeah, I mean, valid. Better to beg forgive for beg forgiveness than ask permission. Pretend the president was wrong. Trust me, us bears can get away with murder. That sounds foreboding, Space Bear. I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen. But if Right, let's hop in a future taxi and get over to the president's residence. Let me guess, the brown house. You got it! Some amount of future space time later. Game saved! Ah, oh, Space Bear, you have arrived! There's no time for chit chat, however, let's get to business. As you know, the Void Bulls are wiping out our species. The destruction of New Amsterdam cannot go unpunished. Go on, Captain Expedition. 
General Varg is planning to launch one final attack on our home planet, Terra. Tara. Space Bear, you are the only one that can help us for some reason. Go on. We need you to go to the Void Mole's home planet and find General Varg. Then, and this is important, negotiate peace terms. It's time to end this war peacefully. I will offer them ownership of the moon and perhaps some nice hummus. You're in good hands, Space Bear. Your spacesuit Taffy here is state of the art. I personally insured it for your use. Isn't that right, Taffy? Yes, sir, Mr. President. Good luck, Space Bear. We have faith that you'll resolve this war peacefully. A shiver went down my spine. I'm sure it's nothing, though. Well, that was exciting, Space Bear. We should head over to the spaceport and set out. Let's swing by my house first. There's something I need to pick up. You now have a portable ejection button. Part 3, another day. Game saved. Alright, alright, alright. Space Bear! Your spaceship is still spiraling into that black hole! Ahem, I believe I have a, cl a clean butt. I don't know what that- oh, right, sure. You now have a clean butt. Space Bear, you're Space Bear! Okay, okay, I have a crazy idea. What is your idea, Space Bear? We are out of time! Uh, uh, sacrifice yourself, and I survive and go home. Aim at the void mole ship. I'm gonna go for a surprise attack! But Space Bear, you left the portable ejection button back at home! Nah, I picked it up in a flashback. Okay, Space Bear, we are on the Mole Planet. Let's find General Varg and settle this peace treaty. Can I ask you something, Space Bear? Why do I feel like you're gonna ask anyway? I am only code and can only follow orders, but do you think this peace treaty is a good idea? Remember Plimerton and New Amsterdam? These void moles will stop at nothing to destroy us. Hmm, well, they do seem, seem pretty pretty um set in their desires to kill all bears and i do not want to listen to the president because presidents are not right all the time war only leads to more war what is it good for you are right i did not consider the cycle of relentless violence and power of breaking free we are very alike space bear that makes me happy That is impossible. You are not alive. Be nice to Taffy, Space Bear. Perhaps you are right, but what drives you, Space Bear? Why take on this important, dangerous mission? 
My daughter. What is her name? <laughs> Beverly. Beverly, because it reminds me of Beverly. So I'm just gonna say Beverly. She sounds like a cool kid. I wish I could meet her. Is she back home? Yeah, she lives with my ex, so I don't get to see her often. Is that her picture in your bedroom? No, you idiot. I just keep pictures of anonymous children in my house. I'm sure you will make her proud, Space Bear. Just believe in yourself. Enough of this after-school special crap. We have a mission. Game saved. Okay, thank you for sharing, Space Bear. You should find this general. Just avoid any guards as they may attack you on sight. Which way do we go? Developer was lazy and all paths are the same anyway. This whole game is like that. Well, that's great and everything, but you know me, I always go to the right. Because it's the right way. Oh no, a guard approaches! Oh no! What do we do? What do we do? on our planet. I don't have money to do the whole but I'm not that bad. Up for love, not war. Whoa, 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 I appear with some hummus. I have some hummus. Hey, you are. Help. There's a parrot. I don't Maybe I should crash the white flag. We'll be back with reinforcements. Big bear me. This is an override. I can see the corner. We now stick a one. Whoa, your voice has gone all funny. Are you okay? Commencing encouragement dispensation. You feel a sharp prick in your neck. Ow, what is going on? Talk to me, Taffy! Blood rushes to your head and all your muscles begin to tense up. I feel strange and powerful and angry. Rrr, is all I can say. Die! Ah! Oh no! Please, I don't want to fight. This is our home. Run! Oh, I can just attack them! Space Bear, no! Am I playing this game right? I feel like I keep messing up. Game saved. Everything that can possibly go wrong is going wrong. And the town of New Amsterdam has begun to rebuild. The president, an ex-military general, is being hailed as a hero for bringing... What? Details of the secret mission are classified. Negotiation attempts proved fruitless, and we had to turn to other last resort solutions. An elite agent was able to infiltrate the mole lair, kill General Varg, and neutralize his soldiers. Through the valiant actions of a few, we, the many, can rest at ease now. It is time for the nation to heal from the horrible wounds inflicted by the evil Void Mole race. While we have some, while some have criticized his Mach Machiavellian actions, the majority of voters polled now have complete faith in him. Dots. Well, that was sad. Dots. We're just floating through space now. Space Bear? Dots. Space Bear, you can't stay in bed forever. Open your eyes, you have to get up. What is the point? Space Bear, I... Ring, 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 ring! The phone! I'll just answer it for you via the magic of electronics. Click. Space Bear, it's me, the president. Hell, you've been through enough to skip formality. Call me Gavin. What happened out there? I could not control myself. Dots. I understand you have many questions. I don't have all the answers for you. Space Bear, you lost control. You gave in to your animal instincts. I sent you in on a mission of peace, but what you did, I can't commend you publicly. You understand. But look at what you accomplished. There's always a price to pay for the greater good. The war is over. I'm proud of you, son. Click. Space Bear, you can talk to me. Taffy will always be your friend. Space Bear, are you okay? Well, this game I thought was not going to be this sad. That lying bastard. 
Who, the Prebarsident? I don't follow, Space Bear. My logical circuits aren't updated. Shouldn't we celebrate the end of the war? How can I look Beverly in the eye? She'd be proud of you. You ended the war. That was not me that did those terrible things. I know it. There's a part of my memory banks missing, Space Bear. That has never happened to me. All I remember is you losing control and hurting all those moles. We have to figure out what happened. Something strange happened up there on that planet, Space Bear. And I intend to find out what. What are we going to do? Hmm. Uncover this space conspiracy with the power of dance. But Space Bear, you're grounded. You're not allowed to leave. Why don't I like that look in your eye? <laughs> Part 6. New Flame. Game save. Space Bear, you can't just steal a spaceship. Why not? They stole my body and mine. Well, I guess that's... Hey, what's that under that sheet there? bodies of your entire family. I have a family? No, it was a joke. I'm sorry. Is that a joke? <laughs> what a good friend you are, Space Bear. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Dead family. That is good. That is a good. <laughs> and is leaving the planet. What should we do? Dots. Space Bear has gone insane and off the book. Those genocidal actions are unsanctioned. Yes, the war is won, but Space Bear and the companion's spacesuit went too far. I'm worried they'll go back to the mole planet and finish what they started. Dots. Sir? Space Bear has gone rogue. Eliminate them all at all costs. Roger, sir. Dots. Ah, Space Bear, it was going so well. All you had to do was enjoy your victory and keep your mouth shut. Well, no matter. Taffy will take care of that. And then we shall see who is the greatest, most popular, most handsome bear of... Gavin, your dinner is ready! Pops. Coming, mother! Part 7, Groove Jet. So he was the reason for all of this. Game saved. I knew it! Space Bear, we're being chased! Do something! Moon them. You have a clean butt. Moon them is a good idea. Showing your butt has not, nor ever will, helped the situation. Well then, why did I get the achievement? Use the mole spaceship controls to get us out of this predicament. I cannot understand this mole language. I will have to experiment. Space Bear, they're shooting at us! Use those wacky mole controls! Uh, lala punka lala! Oh, uh, well that was fun, but kind of useless. Uh, am I actually fire? Fire missile! How many missiles? Uh, just one! Man, let us be the... Oh, 
Okay, here goes. I think that went well. Four missiles, less disappointment. You're the boss. Well, that's all our missiles. Space Bear has too much firepower. I'm out of here. Space Bear, they're shooting at us. Uh, what is that? Uh, blah, Bob. Activate cloaking device. We've lost him. I'm going to check out another sector. How did that even work? Our sheet wasn't even black. Space Bear, they're shooting at us. Uh, I can, uh, use the... We're patched through to the lead bear ship. What do you want to say? Yo, your president is a dick. I'm trying to do some good here. You gotta believe me, fellow bear friend. I know you were trying to kill me, but I have a message for you that I assume you were going to want to hear. That's a good one. Yes, what is it? Your hands off your butt! No! Just tell them the truth! You committed genocide, Space Bear. You stole the ship. You're going to kill more Void Balls. The war is over, Space Bear. You are danger to us all. Let me stop. I will not stop until I have stopped you. The president's been lying! Prepare to inform me of your lies, Space Bear. He is the one lying to you. None of this makes sense. What do you mean? Like, what happened to General Bard's body? Did anyone ever see more than one enemy ship? Go on. How come a single bear managed to wipe out the entire army? I don't. This war is a sham! Okay, Space Bear, what you say do makes make some sense. A lot of people about this war never added up. You only ever saw one enemy ship. But it's still the prepared Thank you. Good luck, Space Bear. Hey, thanks, man. Well, that's that. Phew! I can go get those four souls to go one, two, huh, Space Bear? Now I'm pretty sure these souls are not to play later. Game saved. No, it wasn't me. I was not in control. But you murdered so many of us. I'm so sorry. We don't want apologies. We just wanted to be left alone in peace. I have to tell you what really happened. Please help me figure it all out. Okay, why did you kill so many of us? Uh, my evil ghost twin, probably too much television. I was forced to it by a rage-inducing drug that was injected into me. But why? Uh, you are incredibly evil and ferocious looking. You have horrible fashion sense because you bombed New Amsterdam. But we did it. We don't have any army or weapons larger than a spear. We are a peaceful race. Look at us. But why? It was the president's orders all along. Your president orchestrated all of this? But why? Sex and money and drugs and even bigger televisions. Ratings. Space Bear. The president's approval rating did shoot up right after the massacre. One more question, Mole, mole Man. Yes? General Varg, how come you are purple but your blood is green? Where the hell is Sandra Bullock's Oscar? You don't know a General Varg, do you? No, who is he? I think he was the president all along! Oh, Space Bear, this reminds me of the system override executing- Uh-oh, no, no, no! Fight your programming, Taffy! Taffy! Commencing encouragement. You've got to fight it! It's too strong, can't break my foot. Do it for me! I believe in you, Taffy! Taffy, you said my name! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I knew we were the best of friends, Space Bear. I could never inject my true best friend. We are going to have so many pajama parties now, with waffles and Tim Tams. Oh, jeez, what have I done? Is everything okay? Are we going to be murderized? Not today, little buddy. Okay, what will you do now? 
Uh, time to fight the man. Good luck, giant bear. Please set things right. I'm working on it. I'm really working on it. Game saved. Space bear, I just wanted to take a moment to pause and reflect on how far we've... Oh, is this the beginning of a mother monologue? Oh, dear God, no. Through struggles and hardships, our infinite friendship has managed to overcome adversity. You must have a self- Hey, calm down, Space Bear. Sometimes it has been difficult, but with our foundation of trust and love- I cannot believe you are still talking. Finally, bridge the insurmountable gap of robot slash bear love. So, I made you a present. Go on. It's an audio-visual travelogue of our journey. Here, let me show you. No, stop it. I, and listen, we are not friends, period. I do not want any presents. There is no way in hell that I am ever, ever going to watch your stupid, pointless travelogue. Well, you don't have to be rude. Taffy did just save everything. <laughs> Ta-da! I love it. Open it, Space Bear. I will. Other friends, not as good. Seymour, Mr. Table, my best friend and me. I love Taffy times 20. Turn the page, Space Bear. We went on a magical journey and found a big castle. Inside was the evil wolf king. I gotta eat you. Now I'm angry. I fought evil spiders. And tiny evil whales. And went back in time. Wow. Where was this game? You have showed me the errors of my ways. Please take Princess Salmonella and all my ice cream. And lived happily ever after! So what do you think? That was terrible and poorly animated and also it is kind of sexist. How are you such a bad speller? You are an I- <laughs> How are you such a bad speller? You're an AI. Bad spelling. Me? Ha ha ha. You are a funny bear, Space Bear. Look at the perversidence coming. Uh-oh. Space Bear, I have an idea. What if I use my internal recording system to record the perversidence confessing? <gasps> yes! This was indeed my plan all along, so do not take credit for it later. You just have to talk him into confessing everything. I believe in you. I will do this for all bear and mole kind. Game saved. Space Bear, here he comes. Talk him into confessing. Well, well, well. Figured it all out, have you? I must say I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed that my fist has not been introduced to your butt-ugly face. Even now, you have to resort to violence. Didn't your time on the mole planet teach you anything? It taught me that you are a huge bumhole that needs to be demoted. Demoted? Ha! Thanks to you, my ratings are higher than ever. But let's get one thing straight. You killed all those moles. Slaughtered them. Poor things didn't even stand a chance. Yes, and I feel terrible, but it was a drug. No, Space Bear. They just unlocked your inner rage. You did the killing. Tell me, Mr. President, what is Order 3-861? I have no idea what you're talking about. Before he stuck me full of drugs, my spaceship mentioned Order 3-861. Never heard of it. That is strange, because you just corrected me when I said... <laughs> you corrected me just then when I said 3-861 instead of 3-681. That is very strange. Game saved. Well, you got me there, Space Bear. Yes, the whole war was faked. The moles have always been a peaceful race. I was about to lose the election. The people need a war hero. You were the perfect scapegoat, even if I had to fly you all the way to the mole planet myself. There was no General Varg, just me in a mole spaceship. A sh shame you figured it all out, but who's going to believe you over me? Actually, we have recorded this whole conversation, so suck on that picked, picked egg. Very clever, Space Bear. You shouldn't have told him so quickly. I guess I'll just have to finish this myself. Why'd you go back? This could have been so much easier. It was almost a perfect plan to get reelected. You were supposed to die out there. We've talked for long enough. It's time to take you out for good. 
Space Bear, he'll kill us. Do something. I pr I challenge you to a dance-off. Ho, ho, ho. My honor and ego mean I cannot refuse. Very well, Space Bear. Let us begin presidential dance combat. I will go first. Oh, dang. Oh, no. Stop moving. Uh-oh. I assume you know the rules. Win and you gain the presidency. Lose and be very embarrassed. I will go first. Watch me nail this. Let's talking more dancing. Type the words coming. Oh, okay. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type. For Nicopia. Yeah, I'm nervous. January. Space Bear, you win. Do what you came to do. Finish me. Nah, I think jail is a better option. Space Police, you're under arrest for the crime of being an ass. Well done, Space Bear. We couldn't arrest him while he was president. He's actually wanted for a bunch of drug and frisbee-related charges. Hope you can bear jail. <laughs> Maybe you'll end up in jail in Siberia. <laughs> Did I mention this game is free? Because it is totally amazing. Please just take me away. <laughs> no need to have a grizzly about it. Woo! Space Bear, you did it! You defeated the Perversident! Now you are the new Perversident. What will you do now? <laughs> Party like it's 1995. The end. I think I froze something in the middle of the screen there. I didn't mean to, uh, glitch the game out, but... Alright, well, that was Space Bear. Uh, oops, I skipped the credits. Oh, right, I gotta type it. Credits. Let's just watch these. I'm sure it won't take long. Damon Smith. That was a wonderful, wonderful game. Helping beat the Perversident. Birthday movie practices. Well, that was a nice... Wow, that took 40 minutes? Holy smokes. I get less content from games I paid for sometimes. That's crazy. Thank you very much for playing. Piano Forte. And that was... Space Bear! I hope you all enjoyed watching. I had a really good time playing it. <laughs> it was completely ridiculous, but it was cute and fun. And I'm glad that we were able to take down that evil president because it's really satisfying. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I hope you had a good time.